Hello, Steve Weston here in the Wild Chef. We're gonna make salmon and mushroom risotto today. Uh, so let's get started. We're gonna prep our shallot and our mushroom and our garlic. And then we're gonna get our braising liquid, our chicken stock uh, heated up, which we will be ladling into the risotto or the Orboro rice. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that. Let's get started. Let's cut up this beautiful filet that we received from Wilderness Pro Lodge. Should give us four pretty nice pieces. Those ends are a little bit thinner. Let's get the seasoning in. Put a little bit of pepper here. So let's get a little bit of chili and onion powder going. Kind of a combo here. So put some olive oil in here. You got our mushrooms going. And get our shallots in there first. liquid is pretty much cooked out of them now. Uh, that process takes about eight minutes. Uh, you can actually do it side by side with the risotto and toasting the risotto. Uh, but we'll show you that. So we're cooking down our shallot and olive oil. We're going to add our burro rice. And we're going to toast it up a little bit. And get that mixed in there really well and toasty. Let's put a little bit of garlic in there. Never have too much garlic. Okay, so we're going to get our chicken broth in there. Uh, probably just Probably three quarters of a cup, maybe a cup to start. That would be a cup, four ladles. And start the process. Just going to have to sit here and stir and reduce this chicken stock each time. Continue to add, and it's going to make it creamy. It's going to bring out the starches. So we're going to continue to reduce the chicken stock uh, into the rice. Uh, it's going to bring out that starch and make it nice and creamy and moist. I know you guys love that word. Uh, so let's just continue the process. Okay, we have a hot pan, and we're going to show you how to, we call, slide the salmon so it doesn't stick. Put another piece in there. Inside down. There we go. We're going to lift this up. Salmon flipped over. And slide them around so they don't stick. Done, I flipped them back over. I'm going to cut the heat completely. And we're going to put that lid on there and let it steep. Off the heat. Continue to work the risotto. We're just about to put the last of the chicken stock in there, and then we're going to add our mushrooms. 
and we're gonna eat. So we're gonna add normally some fresh grated Parmesan, but we're going to take this already fresh grated Parmesan, about an eighth of a cup. That stirred in there really well. And I'll start firming it up. Add a little bit of salt to it, it'll be a little salty. So we didn't really add a lot of salt. Now, we're gonna add our mushrooms. Resting in our fair share mug. Okay, we're going to plate up our salmon and risotto. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Can you smell that? Smell it. So take our GSI stainless plate. Okay, we're gonna plate up this risotto. Get our salmon. Parsley for garnish. Once again, Steve, you've outdone yourself. In the wild chef, having fun in the wilderness. After a day's hike, that is so good. And that salmon is compliments of Doug Ness, my Wilderness Pro Lodge in Lake Clark, Alaska. Thank you, Doug. Tastes like it's right out of the water. It's an